These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona, and we are on Wildfire Watch today. It's a wake up call, you know. Um, we really need to keep the underbrush down. Any overburden or anything like that needs to be cut away, but uh, you know, it's, it's really a travesty to live out here in the desert and think the desert's on fire. Part of the Tonto National Forest remains closed as crews try to gain the upper hand on the flames of the Wildcat Fire. More than 13,000 acres are burning. Officials believe it was most likely caused by people. First responders escorting visitors out of the Bartlett Lake Recreation Area as the fire engulfed both sides of the road. Fire crews are working mainly by air to control the blaze as the terrain is tough for trucks and other cars. It's an entire team effort that we have going on, but it's about 180 of us working together in one cohesive unit. A reminder, drones are not allowed over the fire. Forest officials forced to halt operations on Sunday after an unauthorized drone flew overhead. If you're caught flying one, you could face a $25,000 fine. There's an attorney general's office confirming that Rudy Giuliani was served an indictment in Florida Friday night. This is in retaliation to the alleged scheme to overturn the 2020 election results in Arizona. Sources tell us he was served the summons during his 80th birthday party. Giuliani is now expected to appear Tuesday for an arraignment in Phoenix, along with a few others being accused as part of that scheme, unless he is granted a delay by the court. ABC 15's political team will be at the courthouse tomorrow to bring you the latest on air and online. Expensive auto expenses can hit you from out of nowhere, from unexpected repairs to your routine oil changes. Consumer reporter John Matarese has the latest on how to handle those rising repair and maintenance prices so you don't waste your money. Drivers are doing everything they can these days to keep their cars running longer, but all those routine trips to the repair shop can really add up and bust your budget. Here at Overbeck Auto Services, technicians deliver bad news to drivers every day on repairs being way more expensive than they used to be. When things do fail, they typically fail a lot bigger, a lot more expensive. Owner Matt Overbeck blames cars loaded with complicated electronics, even on simple things like brakes. Some of these brake calipers these days have electronic components in it. Lawrence Douglas got a taste of rising repair costs. Well, here's the actual alternator part. A new battery, $204. New alternator, $902. His total damage? $1,846.14. For some perspective, the consumer price index rose 3.4% in April from a year earlier. But the cost of motor vehicle maintenance and repairs was up 7.6%. Well, the cars these days are heavier. They're more complex. Mike Quincy is an automotive tester and writer with Consumer Reports. He says the first way to save on repair costs is getting problems fixed right away. They don't get better over time. They're not like a wine. They, they get more expensive over time. Next, he says, plead your case. It never hurts to ask your shop for coupons or straight up discounts or do some maintenance yourself, like replacing air filters. He also suggests going to an auto parts store for free battery testing. If you do, in fact, need a battery, they can also install it for free. Matt Overbeck suggests finding an independent mechanic you trust. The independent isn't saddled with um, all of the signage and marketing and everything that the dealership is. Some local shops say they can cost you less than repairs at the dealer, and that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris. ABC 15 is committed to helping you save some money, especially with the summer coming and the kids out of school. There's an indictment box of bringing back their summer pass for 179 bucks, which provides tickets to all 40 home games in June, July and August for under five bucks a game. That summer pass is on sale right now. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Temperatures dropping a bit further today, and we're not going to see any hundreds on the map. Instead, Phoenix stops out at 94 degrees with highs in the mid-90s to our west and 60s to 70s across northern Arizona. But winds are going to get stronger. We do have wind advisories posted across northern Arizona. Gusts could go as high as 50 to 55 miles an hour in those areas. Gusts here in the valley could reach as high as 30, maybe 40 miles an hour by this afternoon. And with that comes a risk for fires as winds pick up, and especially in northeast and southeast Arizona, where we're going to see the 
the lowest relative humidity. We have fire weather warnings or red flag warnings in place, meaning a heightened risk for fires is in place for those areas. There's also a very slim chance of rain here in the valley, about a 10% chance this afternoon into the early evening. Then we're drying things out and temperatures are heating up a little bit, but you're not going to see any hundreds in our seven day forecast. Instead, look for highs in the mid to upper 90s here in the valley each day through the weekend. The exception Memorial Day could hit 100 again. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head on over to ABC15.com or download the free ABC15 mobile app. These latest headlines from ABC15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.